What's happening good people? I'm going to be talking about Midjourney today. I've got multiple requests for tutorials on how I do my images in Midjourney. Everything is done through Discord, so I'm going to go ahead and jump over to Discord so we can see that. My Midjourney and my Discord are linked together. So once I'm in Discord, you can go to Midjourney a couple of different ways. If you're new to Midjourney, you're probably going to spend a lot of time in the newbie forums here within Discord seeing how folks do things but what i've done is i have a mid-journey bot set up in a dm and that's where i do all of my information you see the fish that i've been uh, goofing on i was working on some different things here what i want to do is grab a mid-journey kind of like my own little recipe that i use i'm going to grab it from here to show you how i create most of my images right now and this will start you off with you know backslash you got a couple of different things here let me jump into settings real quick to show you this once you have settings it'll bring this up mid journey version 3 is the default right now but i've set mine to version 4 so i can run in version 4 i have everything else set in a normal mode right now but you're going to type in your imagine prompt and i'm going to go ahead and copy and paste the prompt i got earlier this isn't what I'm going to be creating, but this is going to be, these are pieces of the recipe, little sprinkles of salt and pepper, if you will, and other spices to make them images that I really like. What I do, I use illustration, graphic novel, vivid color, and cinematic composition, dash dash AR two by three. I prefer like nine by 16, 16 by nine, Currently, version 4 will not do, will not render in those aspect ratios. So what I'm using here is the next best thing of 2 to 3 or 3 to 2. That I can do, otherwise you get the nice little square images. Nothing wrong with that, just not my preference. But with these spices, I'm going to create, let's try a steampunk. Let's get wacky. Let's try a steampunk barbarian and see what we get. I have no idea. Steampunk Barbarian, that's going to be our subject that Midjourney is going to be working on creating. It's going to be in a style of illustration, graphic novel, I want vivid colors, and it's going to have a cinematic composition, and the aspect ratio will be 3 to 2. And I'm just going to cut her loose, and we're going to see what happens. You can see even on fast mode today, it's, it's moving along. Your times are going to vary, it depends on, I'm assuming, how busy the server is. So a steampunk barbarian should be fairly interesting. Kind of got a best of both worlds. A savage barbarian look. Okay, here is what we got. We're finished. So let's blow this up and have a look at it. <laughs> These images are interesting. This guy over here looks kind of more like a pirate than a barbarian, but that's cool. Some maybe some magic energy going on up in here. With wild hair. This one I think is the most steampunky. He kind of has a pirate vibe, but that's cool. So these things down here, you'll see the U1, U2, U3, U4. That is going to upscale and they, they go like this. One, two, three, four. So this dude with the goggles here, I kind of like liked that look. So I'm gonna upscale that and it's going to create me a larger image of that. If I hadn't liked any of these images and I just wanted to re-roll, I could go over here to this and this is going to re-roll the entire project and it's going to give me um, some more variations on these. It's going to take the prompt that I had initially given it and go back in, look at it again and say, okay, he didn't like the first round of these. Let me see what else I can cook up with these. So I should get four completely different images based on the steampunk barbarian prompt with the spices there, the, the styles of it being an illustration, graphic novel, vivid colors, and cinematic composition. Again, the aspect ratio is still going to be the two to three. And you can see once it rendered, it came up with the dash dash v4 because I have my settings. Uh, in my settings now, it's always going to do version four until I take that off. So we're getting some fairly quick uh, renders again here, but I, again, I am in fast mode because I'm dedicated to you guys. And here we go. Let's see what we get this time. All right. We get some more variations on the Steampunk Barbarian. There's a couple. This, one's, this one looks like an interesting character. This guy right here, this. But let me bring up what I had before. You can see Here's the first round, and here is the second round. So 
let's say I like this guy, but I want him to be bald. So I'm going to bring this up. So the remix, those are the variations, the V1, 2, 3, and 4. So I've clicked on V1 and it's giving me a warning. This will be submitted to Midjourney Bot. Do not share passwords, blah, blah, blah. Of course, we don't want to do that. New prompt for this. So I'm going to do a bald steampunk barbarian and it should give me some variations on this lovely gentleman right here but instead of these flowing locks of hair he should be bald like yours truly so let's see what happens with that and we are actually still waiting on our upscale for our one guy from up here this fellow with the goggles oh and I speak of him in there he pops up so here's what the upscale looks like now you can see there's a lot of cool detail in here it rendered it has got his glowy steampunk glasses some Looks like a clockwork belt, clockwork. He really looks more like a pirate, but you know, so I'm gonna take it. It's a, it's an interesting character look. I dig it. And down here, we already have our bald steampunk barbarian. So let's look and see what the variations made here. Yep, our dude no longer has hair. It's kind of cool looking, but. Anyway, that's what I use. That's how I make my images. And just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to try one more thing before we jump off of here today. And we're just going to go Control V, Steampunk Barbarian, no other prompts besides Imagine Steampunk Barbarian. I'm letting Mid Journey make a lot of decisions with this prompt. I've just given it some very basic instructions, which is a Steampunk Barbarian. So let's see what happens with it. And even with simple prompt just of a steampunk barbarian you get some really cool looking images some very cool looking images they're almost more almost photo this one's looking like a game design right here it's like a game render I prefer the more comic booky graphic novel stuff but these look great too it's just amazing stuff that Midjourney can crank out. Thanks for watching. If you find what I do useful or find value in it, please leave me a like. Again, if you find what I do here valuable and you want to keep coming back, hit that subscribe button. Take care, everybody.